Well, I'm sitting here on the side of the road. Shrek just died. I have no idea. We are in the middle of nowhere. Stay tuned. A man and a woman left their home to switch things up and go on the road. And they didn't know where they would go. But it's gotta be better than staying home. They switched it up. They switched it up. Shrek does not sound good. Which is the exchange? Yeah, we're done. Completely. Oh, that's no bueno. It won't even idle up. Yeah. I get. How odd that that guy was just right there. What's he gonna do? He says we're in a turn lane for the landfill and it's going to be a disaster if we don't get out of it. So he says about a quarter of a mile up there's a uh, turn, there's a place that we can pull over and then we'll have to call a bunch of places to see about getting towed somewhere to be repaired. He thinks he can pull us? That's what I said. He goes, oh yeah. With the Shrek and Fiona? good way to start a weekend it's gonna be a long way he said this could be a, probably be expensive repair you got going great at least it's a safer spot on the road that's what he said He's doing all the steering. What's the mirror do for you? I guess it's just habit. Has no oof. It could be a number of things. DPF is what we've been told. It could be sensor monitors on both sides of that. It could be a recall on the truck. It could be any of that stuff that could be happening. But we split up. We're hauling the truck in. We're 30 miles away from Kanab. So we're gonna haul the truck in. He's gonna come back with another vehicle with a ball to take Fiona. Sheila is gonna stay with the rig, make some lunch maybe. <laughs> and uh, while I ride in with him to see if we have a place that we can stay in his lot, or we might find another RV park that's in Kanab that we can stay at. So that's currently. Um, and then we're gonna try to s we'll separate our insurance for towing the truck and then another bill for towing the rig and submit both of those to see how that shakes out to see if we get reimbursed. Guess this is part of RV life at its best, right? You're gonna learn these stuff together because it's never happened to us. It might help one of you. Like a 
Tequila. Are you still here? All right, we're gonna hook up. All right, round two. Found a RV park in Kanab. We're staying at. So many times I've stranded, a castaway, and I'm now sure. I will say it's weird to see somebody else driving. I've never seen the brake lights or the reverse <laughs> lights. Looks like from the back. Never seen any of that. Now I know what you look like. We're all in. Sheila's now putting the steps down. I don't think we could have been any luckier than we, we were. You know, the fact that there's somebody Immediately right. when we got pulled, when we, we got pulled over, he was just right there turning out, and he and he knew who to call and who could help us. And, and he pulled us to a safe place, like, and then within 45 minutes, somebody was there. I, it's mind numbing. And we're in a town where we can walk to the grocery store and we've got yes, the motorcycle we were, too, though. We were supposed to be able to. We're supposed to be at the lake today, <laughs> and you know how much I love water. Instead, I'm in the desert. I think part of but this, it'll be okay. it is, part of it when things go wrong is attitude. Yeah, and it's also just being very flexible with your plans. Like, okay, mm -hmm. well, we got to move some things around. And the park had space for us. It all just worked out. So far, so we have far. no idea what's wrong with the truck. We yeah. won't know until Monday. A couple days. And this is Saturday, so, yeah. A couple days. Small town, everyone takes the weekend off. Hey, you just have to adapt. <laughs> yeah, and that's fine. I mean, uh, we have our home. Maybe we'll get to share with you some neat stuff around here when we're out running around. Yeah. You don't know. Who knows? And I still hope to get make it to the lake. The faster we fix the truck, the faster, faster we can go to the lake. I made it down and I wanted to see AJ actually pulled it apart to diagnose what was going on since it is the faulty fuel pump and it is the CP4 which they actually put in there for only like two years and we tried to get it replaced two to three times actually and they both they all laughed at me because they could never get the pumps in it was just a big mess so now here we are set up so I thought it would be good for you to see kind of what happened AJ you should be inside and he, he saw the metal Yes, sir. So, so there's an open hole right there. Oh yeah. Oh you my see gosh. Metal in the bottom of that? Yeah. That is. So then that's through the whole system. Yeah. Is yeah. that the actual pump? Yeah, that's the actual high pressure pump. Okay. That feeds the injectors. So basically, when I was driving, I just went done. Yeah, it doesn't take a lot. A little bit of contamination in them. So what were you saying? It was like when this happens, the pressure on the fuel rail goes down about half. Is that what you? Yeah, because the metal gets into the high pressure pump. And then once it's into the high pressure pump, it just completely, completely shuts everything. shuts everything down. Now for repair and stuff, he actually pulled out the other components too, which is the, what is this? Is this the fuel? This is the lower fuel filter right here. Okay. And then this on here is all metal shavings? Yeah. So that's all through here. And then this is the this sensor? This is the fuel regulator. Okay. And it's got metal shavings all through the top up through here. So in essence, what's happened is, is that all the shavings gone through the whole system, which also means that everything has to be replaced. New injectors, new fuel rail, new lines. Pretty much everything. Pretty much everything. And as far as like time frames for a repair like this, how long does it usually take? A couple days, three days? If we get the parts, if the parts are in stock and we get them, then we can usually get them overnight right. if they have them. Right. So. so this is the reason why it's so expensive and why everyone's saying, hey, go out and get your, your whole system. Get the pump replaced as fast as you can. There's a lot in that. We'll go through that here stuff later, but thanks AJ for at least yeah. taking a little time. No problem. So yeah, good stuff. Have fun, man. <laughs> so right now, Shrek's a paperweight. And from everything we've been told, they might be able to do it here at the shop, but now you're dealing with RAM and 
Ram doesn't want to necessarily work with independent shops, even though this is a qualified place, they might do a reimbursement, but we're also trying to figure out if we need to tow, because we're in Kanab, we can tow to Vegas, we could go to Scottsdale, no, Flagstaff, and then there's another couple places. We're just trying to think about just having them do it here and then see if we can get reimbursed. It will cut our time down. If we go to a Ram dealership, everyone that we've called six to eight weeks, six to eight weeks, and now we're kind of like in a quandary on what to do. If you're in Kanab area and you break down, you know who to call now. You got the old littles here. So, and they actually have RV park places that people when they're kind of stranded that they can park and they can plug in and have water. So he just put these temporary areas in for us that are on the road, which is kind of convenient. But there's also down the road, there's like three or four RV parks. That's where we were fortunate enough. They just pulled our RV into there so we have a place to stay. There's a lot of moving parts going on right now and I have no idea how this one's gonna turn out. It's a little frustrating on a lot of levels because we have a lot of places that we have already scheduled to be. So Sheila's trying to figure out what to do next. Figure any solutions? No, I have shared a, shed a few tears though. <laughs> this is probably the most challenging we've had uh, since we've hit the road. So with no answers and no idea what to do next. And, so, and I, if you feel helpless. Well, the hard thing is, is, is that we knew there was an issue, but there was no parts to be a part of the solution. Now we wait. And I've always wanted to go to the balloon festival. It's been on my bucket list. Now Mike is get so Mike is going to he's still trying to he's been so swamped so he's gonna send us our tow bills and then I talked to AJ and he showed me all the metal shavings. If they can get the parts who knows? I don't know where it goes from here. We're waiting for his estimate and then we can see about what we do next on where we tow or if we tow or if they have the repair or what we do. So there's the update. I'm just sad. I think the far, hard part for me was it's all these things. It's like, oh, I want, I'm excited to go here and to go mm -hmm. here and to go here and now. And it just seems, it seems so silly. It does, because people on the other side of the United States have lost everything. everything. Yeah, because of the hurricane, they just yeah. lost it all. And so. so, but I'm still sad that this is our situation right now. And there was people we were going to meet up with, and now we're not going to get to see them. We haven't seen them in a long time. Like, just look. No, if you, no, I think. very disappointed. I wanted to do the video because of, um, if you own a 2019 or a 2020 Ram, 3500 actually it even goes down 25 3500 is kind of like the typical 7% failure rate is the average now they're starting to get the fuel pumps in so if you're trying to get the recall done get the recall done as soon as you can because now they're finally having them in stock it's just the whole thing's just nuts okay let's eat lunch and then today it'll be another day of figuring some stuff out and we'll just take you along the way i guess What'd you find out? Okay, so it's time for an update. It is now day four. Is it? Is this Saturday? It's now Tuesday, right? Day four, uh huh? Day four. Okay, this morning Sheila had conference calls working with Megan on huddles. I got a phone call from Mike. I do not know what Mike said. No, this is why I thought it would be fun to just kind of record it. <laughs> um, this causes so this me is, great anxiety. This is what Mike says. He can get some of the parts from Bosch if we would like him to repair it. But Ram got super, super sneaky and decided, you know what, we're gonna lock down all these parts. Nuh -uh. And so they are not allowing anyone to be able to purchase the fuel pumps to make the repairs anywhere else. So he is not even, he's not allowed to get a CP3 or a CP4 pump. Oh, no, no, it gets better. If you want to replace it with a CP4 pump, they will allow you to buy it. But unfortunately, it's going to be 18 months. 18 months for you to get that part. So all this has done is confirm that we are going to have to tow Shrek. What happened to capitalism? <laughs> I don't know. 
So we're going to have to tow Shrek to a dealership and we have two choices. We have Vegas, which is closer, or Phoenix, which we can have somebody kind of watch over things um, as it gets done. So we have to decide how we're going to get Shrek to there. Right now I know the towing to Vegas is $1,300. But we're talking about getting a trailer and maybe towing Shrek to Phoenix and doing all that. So there's your there's your latest. All the stuff going on with Mike has now been shut down because Ram has now put a kibosh on anyone doing any of the work. That means also tomorrow we have to move Fiona to another RV park, possibly. We'll have to see how that plays out as well. Anyway, there's your there's your update. Day four. The best part is, is knowing once we get it to where it's going, it'll probably be there for two months. That's the other frustrating aspect. But who knows? Might be, I might be telling myself a story. <laughs> There's, do you like those options? At least what it does is it provides clarity and it limits, it limits the decisions. So it does do that. So we can make plans accordingly. I'm trying to be helpful. She's not saying anything because she's in like tilt. It's like, well, what do we do now? So she's planning. Have you ever seen the show, The Good Doctor? When he looks up and he sees all the stuff and it's moving around. That's sometimes Sheila's mind. She's moving stuff around in her mind. You're saying I'm on the spectrum? <laughs> no, I'm not saying you're on the spectrum. That's not what I mean. I'm just saying the visualization is what Sheila's doing. Yes, I'm looking at the dominoes of that, what needs what's to be happen. kicked over. Yes. Okay, so there's your update for We're now. We're having fun, though. We're having so mm -hmm. much fun. I'm working. Fun. Look, I'm making a video. So yes, that's I was working on huddle zip stuff. Lines and zip stuff. lines. Zip lining. Don't tell them the us. secrets. Oh, for the Because we don't know when this video is coming out. It could be another... <laughs> this well, is day four. I might come back in saying... This is our 30-day update. We'll see what the next clip is. You'll just, we're just filming this I as it goes. I have a feeling that this isn't. You're gonna, not going to get the whole solution in one video. No, in one week. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll just see how this video plays out. You're, you're going along for the ride, too. I know you can't see me right now and it's early, but I'm catching myself a, a truck to Vegas. been driving now for almost three hours making it into Vegas this is Jeremy he's super excited about being on camera towing we're in a big big rig here to tow but it's kind of neat because you can't just like sit back and let the situation you know get a hold of you and be all upset so trying to find solutions this was a great solution I think I know we're driving like the three hours to Vegas to drop off Shrek and hang out and then I'll fly up to Phoenix. I'll cover all that later, but to get another truck to drive back to Sheila. But it's been good. We've been talking for a while. Jeremy's been driving for, what is it, five years? Just about five years, yes, sir. Five years. I got a CB up here, Jeremy. What's your CB handle? <laughs> I, don't, I don't go out on the road enough to have one. Oh, he doesn't? I didn't know there was a qualification. Yeah, they, you, somebody has to give you one. I don't know if making one up by okay. yourself. So good. I've been trying to make up my own, and I've been trying to be chicken foot in one chicken of my foot. earlier videos. Yeah, chicken foot. I thought I chicken like, foot would be a great CB handle. I like chicken foot. That's a chicken good foot. That's a good one, yes, isn't sir. it? Yes, sir. Yes, <laughs> sir. Yeah, so at some point, if we ever are looking at it getting an HDT, I might have to be chicken foot on the CB. We'll see. But no, we've had a great time. Started at nighttime, basically. It felt like so early in the morning, but no, it's been good. Three hours have flown by. We talked about all the world's problem. We got it all solved. It's amazing what two guys can figure out. <laughs> yeah, on a three-hour yeah, road trip. Yes, sir. <laughs> Bad part is he's gonna drop us off, and then he's gonna drive back. But it's been good. It's been all right. All right. So just giving you guys a heads up on what's going on. Well, hopefully this Ram dealership's a good dealership. We don't know because I've never met him. 
So we'll do a little interview and see what they're doing. We made it to the dealership. We gotta figure out how to get the truck off. So he's gonna back down the road, block off traffic, and then pull in. So... <laughs> And then we're gonna try to drop it off like right here and push it through the bay. Nothing like a challenge. He says he likes a challenge. We're gonna find out the challenge. All dropped off, checked in, anywhere from four to eight weeks. We're back on the road. <laughs> just, just like that. It's like now we're still waiting to hear what's gonna happen with Vegas and the truck so we're, we're just being flexible and we're very blessed and thankful to have a switch crew member that allow us to borrow their truck so we can keep on moving so where's this video going from here I don't know the whole video is a teaser because I don't know what the next clips are gonna be yeah it's a it's a work in progress yeah that's what it is <laughs> all right here we go 